Hi, my name is Paul, and today I want to talk about a very quick tip about using an inspector. So I've got a little scene here with Vegetation Studio Pro, and what I want to do is drag items from my project into the grass area. But the problem is, is when I select like the clover and I'm trying to look at what it's going to look like, then it's very difficult because I come off Vegetation Studio Pro. So then I have to go back to Vegetation Studio Pro and, and then remember which one of these to drag in. So that's not very easy. So what you can do is uh, in the window here, you can say add a new tab and we add another inspector. So we get a duplicate. Now that doesn't seem like a very good idea at first, but what you can do is you can lock this one. So this is now locked to Vegetation Studio Pro and this one is now free to roam. So if I drag this over a bit, just put it there. I can now select in here and I can see the little pre preview of it. So I can go, oh, that's quite a nice grass bush. And then I can drag, whoops, I can drag that into my plants. And there it appears there. And I can go and find some more kind of foliage, maybe some maple ladder. This little, I think I like that one. So add that to the plant system. And there we go. That way you can easily move between this one and still have your drag and drop abilities in here. And then once you finish doing that, you can just come in here and close that tab off. And just remember to unlock that. And there you go. It's all just a little tip there about how to use the inspector. Okay, thanks.